The Seal Life, a play in one act by Michael Cunningham. Cast of characters, Theo Oge, a man of 30, lighthouse keeper, Mercy, a beautiful woman in her 20s, who is a seal woman or a selkie, Hope slash Faith, a seal woman, selkie, dancing on the beach and Mercy's friend, the 13-year-old daughter of Theo and Mercy. The part is played by the same actress. Act one, scene one. Setting. A lighthouse on the beach in the country. At rise, we see Hope and Mercy dancing on the beach at night. They wear full body skin colored leotards instead of clothes. July 7th, the one night we shed our skin so we can dance under the stars. We are seals, but every seven years we shed our skin. On the seventh day, on the seventh month, we, we become, become human. human. Oh, the joy of a human body. What a wonder. To have fingers instead of flippers. To have lips instead of whiskers. We can hold each other's hands. And dance. They hold hands and dance in a circle. Meanwhile, Theo sneaks up on them. He pulls up something that looks like a full body wetsuit. He locks it in the steamer trunk. The moon is sinking. Our revels are ended. It is time to go back to the sea. I feel different. Put on your seal skin. I can't find it. Someone took it. Quick, to the water. Everyone, hurry. Someone is watching us. She calls to others off stage. Help me. If I can't find it, I'll be trapped in human form. I promise. The five seals and I will come back for you. Hope, don't leave me. You must find your skin, but be careful. Do not gaze into the eyes of the human who took it. If you do, you will forget what you are and will be under their spell forever. Hope exits. Mercy looks for his skin. Theo enters carrying a lamp. What are you doing here in the dark? I lost something. Let me help you. No, leave me be. But I bear the light. I can help. He lifts the lamp. Where are your clothes? Mercy covers herself with her hand. Don't look at me. I lost what I was wearing. Please come to the, to the lighthouse with me. You can't stay here like this. You're very kind. And why do you pay kindness with rudeness? What do you mean? You refuse to look at me. I cannot. I'm afraid to. You have nothing to fear. Look, I have food. Theo takes an apple out of his pocket and holds it out. Mercy turns and looks at Theo. You are beautiful. I feel like I have been struck by lightning. I was looking for you and have found you. Marry me. If we are to be married, Give me something as a symbol of our love. Theo finds a child's book or a snail shell. Perfect. Before we are married, I should know your name. My name is Theo. Theo Oji. And your name? I, I will name you Mercy. Mercy and Theo join hands over the ship. By this moon, I promise to love you and protect you and treat you equally. The light fades. Ocean sounds are heard. Scene two. At rise, Theo sits on a large rock on the beach, mercy at his feet. Reading from diet buddy. The Lord formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living being. Then the Lord said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him helper. It was then that he made women so that they can be the helper of men 
and do all the work around the house. The last part you made up, didn't you? What, you don't trust me? When will you teach me what those symbols on the page say? Someday. Until then, wash the clothes. But you promised that you would teach me after the moon had changed at least seven times. That has happened. They are in the case. He will not. How much longer must I wait? You does not answer. I could swear that you once swore to treat me equally. Anything sworn under a full moon doesn't really count. What? Why? The moon is ever-changing, so the swearer can change their mind. You're such a snake. What did you say? Never mind. Why do I have to wash the clothes? It's not fair. You should help. I have very important things to do. Like what? Run the, right, the, run the lighthouse. If the lighthouse isn't running, the ships will crash into the rocks. It's broad daylight. I know. That's why I'm going to do another important thing. I'm going to read the newspaper. You're just going to sit here and read while I do all the work? No. I'm going to, going into the lighthouse to read. Theo exits into the lighthouse. Mercy tries to hang on to her line. She is too short. She looks for something to stand on. She finds a steamer trunk. She drags it over and stands on it. Theo enters. What are you doing? I'm hanging the laundry like you told me to. No. Where did you find that? Pointing to steam at trunk. It was inside. I found it in the dark under the stairs. I don't want you coming in the lighthouse without my permission. Do you understand? And I don't want you going near that steamer trunk again. Do you hear me? It is forbidden. Why? What's in it? I didn't want to tell you this before, but when I met you, you were a monster. Before, I, started, before I met you, you were a monster. It's true, I saved you. Tell me the truth. Some things I can't remember. Sometimes I feel like I can grasp the memory, but then I can't. You were on the beach when I saved you. You were dancing under the moon, filthy and lost. Stay away from the trunk. I'm just trying to protect you. End of scene. Scene three, setting, nighttime. Mercy is sitting and watching a fireworks show. At rise, Theo enters carrying the lamp. The lights are beautiful. How do they make such flowers with lights? They're called fireworks. I can't believe a year has passed and you're still like a child. The sound hurt my ears. Mercy covers her ears like a seal. Oh, that was a pretty one. Mercy, bark, bark, bark. Mercy claps and barks like a seal. Why can't we see it with the others? No, we're not going into town. We could see it fine from here. Why? You don't know how to behave. What do you mean? What did I do? Mercy. Bark, 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 bark. And claps and barks. That's why. No one taught you how to act. Who's going to teach me then? You? Do you ever think what you would be without me? Maybe I would be happier. Next time you clap, do it like a lady. Like this. You demonstrates ladylike clapping. What's wrong with the way I am? Everything. Without me, you'd be swimming in the dark. I am swimming in the dark. I have no idea who I am. I told you your name. That's not what I meant. What then? What more do you need to know? I need to know why I have these feelings. Forget your feelings. Watch the fireworks. Sometimes I just wish I could be happy, but I'm not. There's more to life than happiness. Theo, something has changed in me. My tide. It is dried up. Your tide? My monthly tide. 
Oh, that. Since when? Three months now. How could you be so stupid? Why are you calling me that? This is your fault. You should have known. You should have protected yourself. That is like asking the rocks on the beach to protect themselves from the rain. You wanted this, planned it. No, don't say that. I feel like there is a small nautilus growing inside of me. Well, get rid of it. How? You're a woman, you should know. Are you going to abandon me? You should have planned for this. Now what? What do you want to do now? It is yours also. I watch a show. It's ending. I don't want to watch flowers open and die in the night sky. I want you to tell me. What? That you're really, really dim? Tell me you won't leave me. I won't leave you in the dark. Leo leaves his lantern and exits. Mercy remains alone. End of scene. Scene four. Setting. A beach in front of the lighthouse. At rise. Faith is holding a book. She is 13 years old. Mercy is sitting with her. It is late in the day. Are you sure he's not coming? He has taken a nap. Let's practice. This says... Behold the kingdom of God. Behold the kingdom of God. No, don't tell me. It is within you. Yes, Mama. The door to the lighthouse begins to open. Mom, he's coming. Mercy hides the book. Theo enters. You two are up to something. We're just enjoying the day. I have my eye on you. Theo exits. Mercy goes to the door, listens. That was close. Take the book, hide it somewhere. Faith exits. Mercy checks the door, exits. Faith enters with the channel to walk show. Faith sits and begins to take the show with the show to the ear. Mercy enters with a basket and begins to take laundry off the clothesline. Mom, I can hear the ocean. Where'd you get that? It was under the stairs. That shell, it seems so familiar. You can hear the ocean in it, Mama. I know, baby. Why don't you listen, Mommy? I can't. I have work to do. Please, Mama. Oh, if your father sees me. Please, I'll keep an eye out. Mercy puts the shell to her ear. Do you hear it? Yes, Faith, I hear it. How come I can hear the ocean inside the shell? Because it holds the memory of the ocean. The memory of the ocean? You see, these shells are the hearts of the ocean. Every shell holds a little love in them. That is because the ocean is all love. Do you ever go out at night and see the moon reflect in the ocean? Yes. It's then that the moon is looking at the ocean, and the ocean is looking back. What about the sun? The sun is its child. In the morning, it rises out of it. Then in the afternoon, it grows above its mother. Then at night, it comes back home to rest. And rain? Rain is like little kisses. When it rains, all that love just overflows. Then the ocean needs a place to store some of it. So the ocean puts all that love in special shells. Theo enters. Seashells never forget. That is what you hear. Every shell holds onto the memory of the ocean and the love that overflowed into them forever. Theo you know, pulls the shell out of mercy. Your mom is just telling you a lot of nonsense. The sound is just an illusion. Nothing special, nothing more. Theo smashes the shell to pieces. Let this be the end of it. You broke it. Why did you break it? Mercy tries to pick up the pieces. I'm your husband. You obey me. I've done everything you've asked. Every dirty job. Nothing satisfies you. How could I possibly be satisfied with the likes of you? You're ugly and worthless. 
I gave you a daughter. And what of it? The two of you are doing something behind my back. We're not, I swear. You grab space. You liar, I'll teach you to lie to me. Stop it, leave her alone. Mercy tries to stop Theo and Theo throws Mercy down. Theo finds the book safely. I knew it, you lied. Mercy holds, oh, Theo tries to hit Faith with the book. Mercy protects her. Theo slaps Mercy across the face. Stop it, stop it. Mercy holds her face. You don't care about me. You just want me to be your slave. Just get back to your chores. I want to pick up the pieces first. She tries to pick up the pieces of the shell, but Theo steps on them. Now there's nothing to pick up. I'm not leaving until I get every shard. Suit yourself. Theo exits. Mama, come in. I can't. I want to finish. It's just a shell, Mama. Faith exits. No, it means something. I know it does. Night falls quickly. Mercy holds the light. I don't want to fall asleep. I want to find every piece. I will not fall asleep until I have found every broken piece. I will not fall asleep. Mercy begins. Mercy falls asleep. Hope enters. Mercy awakes to see her. Are you my Nautilus? I am Hope, and I have returned for you. Does that, I, does that mean I can return to the deep? You must look inside yourself. In the shell, you will find the key. Mercy falls asleep. Hope lifts its shell out of the sand, and it is whole again. Hope then drags out the steamer trunk. Hope places the shell on the trunk. Hope exits. Scene five. Setting. The beach at dawn. At rise, the dawn slowly comes. Mercy wakes. She sees the trunk and the shell. Mercy rips the shell. In it, she finds a key. Faith enters. Where is he? He's asleep. Mercy holds the key but hesitates. Mama, the trunk. Open it. He might come down any minute. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to find out what's in there. There's nothing to be afraid of, Mama. Do I deserve it? Do I, Faith? Maybe he's right. Maybe I am worthless. Don't say those things. What will I find when I open that box? You won't know until you open it. But what if I open it and I find out I am a monster? You are not a monster. You call us from off stage. Where's my breakfast? Get my breakfast ready or there'll be hell to pay. I'm going to close my eyes. Mercy opens the trunk. At the same time, we hear Theo coming down the stairs. She opens the trunk. And as it opens, there is a bright light that shines from inside. Mercy reaches in the trunk and pulls out something that looks like a large black white suit. Mercy takes it and exits. Where's your mother? Good morning, father. Mother has left to go shopping. What are you doing with that? Oh, this? I was just listening to the sound of the ocean. Picking up the child of wealth, seashell. I'm not talking about that. Where'd you find the steamer trunk? It was out here when I woke up. Don't lie to me. What is so special about an empty trunk? Empty? He opens the trunk and sees that it is empty. Crosses over to the White House. Mercy enters wearing a seal skin. Mercy stands at the edge of the water. Mercy, don't! I'm leaving you. Please, don't leave me. I'll, I'll die if you do. You won't die. You won't even miss me. Please. Goodbye, Theo. Faith, watch over your father. 
I have found my true self. Marcy exits. You hear Marcy jumping into the water. There is the sound of the seals barking. <laughs> End of play.